swimming pools, clubhouses, games rooms, golf courses, massage parlors even, sports complexes, doormen, underground parking, covered parking, storage facilities, and more are all reasons for buying condos in Fort Lauderdale. All of these are great reasons to buy. But what are the top five reasons to buy? Stick around to hear them and I think they're gonna surprise you. Even with recent price increases in cities like New York, Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco, I mean, even Miami, condos in Fort Lauderdale are much more affordable. And actually based upon a year over year 20, 2021 to 2022, the study, the price of condos in Fort Lauderdale are cheaper than most of the major coastal areas in Florida, including Jacksonville, Fort Myers, Naples, Fort Walton Beach, Destin, Clearwater, Tampa, okay? And it's even, they're even less expensive than some of the inland areas like the villages up north of Orlando. Here in Fort Lauderdale, there are currently about 630 condos for sale that range anywhere from just under $100,000, well, over 16 million so for some of the opulent, luxurious ones. Covering price points for just about anyone and everyone looking at condos, you can get more for your money in Fort Lauderdale when it comes to buying a condo. Fort Lauderdale is a popular vacation destination with over 23 million people flocking to Fort Lauderdale every year and their stays are ranging anywhere from three to five days to three to five months so the rental market has become stronger than actually even the purchase market going on down here add to this the increase in short-term rentals like Airbnb and VRBO in addition to reduced maintenance costs and over single-family homes uh, lower insurance costs lower tax costs and you know owning a condo as an investment has become a very uh, lucrative endeavor be sure to check out our video library for our video on short-term rentals. We mentioned it briefly here, but there's a lot more information that can that's in regards to short-term rentals. Please feel free to reach out and let us know of any questions you guys have. You can email us, you can text us, you can call us, or you can go ahead and click on the Zoom link and set up a, a time where we can chat for about an hour on any questions you may have about investment properties here, but condo rentals in, in Fort Lauderdale, short-term rentals, investment properties, any real estate related questions you guys may have, you know, go ahead and set up a time where we can chat for about an hour or so to get your questions answered. But again, go ahead and check out our video on short-term rentals, a lot of great information on how short-term rentals work, okay? And basically how everything kind of fits together. As the recent inventory shortage of single-family homes in Fort Lauderdale, as well as the rest of the country, have driven up the prices of single-family homes and even townhomes, the cost of condos have remained relatively constant. Owning a condo in Fort Lauderdale can be a great investment. You can rent it out when you're not living here, get a little cash flow and earn a steady income, okay? And then go ahead and use it to stay for yourself when you want to be one of the 23 million that are coming to visit and vacation here in Fort Lauderdale. Actually, living in a condo for many is actually a lifestyle in and of itself. In many respects, gone are the chores of typical living in a home, you know, cutting the grass, yard maintenance, painting the outside of the house, fixing the roof, doing all those kind of things. And they're basically replaced by some of the more relaxed amenities, such as playing golf, swimming, going to the beach, going out and entertaining, traveling, doing things you want to do where you're not, whereas you're not tied to a single family home, having to do all those chores around the house not to mention some of the unexpected pieces. Condos in many instances can get you closer to those lifestyle choices, such as the beach, golf courses, casinos, and other amenities at a much, much lower cost than a single family home can. And there's a lot more of the condos there to get to be closer to, in addition to all the amenities that the condos themselves offer, such as pools, clubhouses, and other things that you can do. Condos also offer kind of a closer integration with other folks around there. You're going to get to know your neighbors very, very well. And that's something that a lot of folks like for example, like Suzanne and I do, um, it's a wonderful way to kind of get to know who your neighbors are, make some new friends, have some new funds. You get to experience that much more closer connection with some of your neighbors and some of your friends. I mean, you really kind of should because in some cases when you're in a condo, you are sharing common walls or you're sharing common floors. Uh, another very significant appeal for condos is that a lot of the active adult community condos offer a lifestyle that a lot of folks who are semi-retired, they're really looking to find. these. Some of these complexes offer an incredible amenity such as big clubhouse, game rooms, big pools, golf courses. I mean, they have on-site restaurants, they have on-site theaters, they have shuttle bus service going around to the local community so that if you need to run errands, maybe you don't even need to get have a vehicle anymore. You can basically take a shuttle bus to run most of your errands. You go to the doctor, you can go shopping. Other errands that you may have to run that you ordinarily may have to use a car or rely on other on others to do, you can use leverage a shuttle bus that's in those communities. And those communities are all geared towards basically those with similar interests and similar lifestyle choices. Here's one of the reasons that's really important, that became really important to us. We didn't really think about it when we first came down, 
but it became really, really important to us over time, okay? So, and I like to refer to it as basically sharing the wealth. Well, actually it's more like sharing the costs, okay? So maintaining a home has become so much more expensive over the past years. I mean, with the increase in insurance and the increase in, in, in cost of everything from getting your grass cut to regular maintenance, to painting, getting your house painted, to getting your roof done. That's not even taking into consideration some of those unexpected or unanticipated maintenance things that just kind of come out of the blue. Maybe there's a, from all kinds of storms, windstorm, rainstorm, winter storms, hailstorm, ice storms. You know, we have some friends up in Georgia where we came from who had a beautiful house and it was a really, really nice house and, and everything was really enjoyed it there. Kind of set back in a cul-de-sac and then all of a sudden one day the driveway collapsed, okay? And I mean, this was something that was completely unanticipated. Nobody even could have even thought about it. It was not something that was covered by insurance. It was something that they had to basically take care of themselves and it took many, many months and many, many thousands of dollars to take care of. Living in a condo, those types of things are all taken care of. Your insurance costs, costs are basically shared across all of the owners of the condominium. You're only responsible for basically the, the contents of the interior of your condo. Anything else, the exterior, the walls, the uh, the floors, the roof, everything like that is covered by the condo association of, by a master insurance policy for the condo association. And the cost for that is over all of the owners in the unit or in the association if it's a multi-unit association. Also other some of the significant maintenance pieces like roof maintenance, periodic painting, uh, driveway, those kind of things the parking lot and the driveway around, and even some of the big, more significant maintenance, uh, lawn maintenance and landscaping that are all being taken care of. The, the cost of those are spread out across all of the owners, making it much more affordable for folks to have a beautiful, safe, warm, welcoming, and engaging place to live. Housing expenses for all of us have been increased. They're expenses, okay? We're gonna pay for where we live in some form or fashion. The question that needs to be asked is, am I gonna pay myself or am I gonna pay somebody else, okay? Real estate in Fort Lauderdale has been steadily increasing in value. We have seen record year over year increases in value. So with lower entry price points, buying a condo now will not only lead to you paying yourself, but because of the steady increases in value will lead to a significant return over time and an investment in your future. Folks, make no mistake about it. Condo living in Fort Lauderdale is on the rise. Condos have an unprecedented appeal to homeowners and many of those considering home ownership. Home buyers of all ages are learning that condo life has valuable and distinct advantages, which make it all the more imperative for you to work with local experts like my team and I when looking um, when thinking about buying condos here in Fort Lauderdale. We're here to help out in any way that we can. Reach out, give us a call, send us a text, drop a note in the box below. Go ahead and click on the Zoom link and set up a time for us to chat. We would love to chat with you and help you in any way that we can, answer any questions that you may have, and until next time.